Influenza, the flu, kills about 10,000 adults each year in South Africa, a relatively small number compared with the past year's COVID-19 deaths, but still a heavy toll. Worldwide, it causes between three and five million cases of severe illness and half a million deaths. At the start of the pandemic, many people thought, and many still do, that COVID-19 is simply a bad flu, but that's not the case at all. Yeah, influenza and COVID-19 are both contagious respiratory illnesses, but they're caused by very different viruses. COVID-19 is caused by an infection with the coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2, and flu is caused by an infection with influenza viruses. Like SARS-CoV-2, flu is transmitted by hitching a lift on droplets from our upper respiratory tract and by people transferring virus-carrying droplets by their hand from surfaces to their nose, mouth and eyes. Which is why we sanitize. COVID-19 seems to spread more easily than flu and causes more serious illnesses in some people. It can also take longer before people show symptoms and people can be contagious for longer. Just like COVID-19, the flu virus transmission is prevented through masking, physical distancing, avoiding poorly ventilated indoor areas, good hand hygiene and isolating. And surprisingly then, far fewer cases were reported in 2020, both during lockdown and afterwards, thanks to the COVID-19 hygiene practices in place. Lockdown also meant prolonged school closures, and as children are an important base for flu transmission, it resulted in fewer cases. Blame it on the kids, man. As flu season approaches, a lot of people are wondering if they should get a flu jab. Simply stated, yes. For two main reasons. First is that by having the flu jab, your risk of developing any severe complications if you do happen to get the flu is reduced. This means you won't be putting any strain on our healthcare system. It also means that if you do present with severe complications, your doctor can more easily exclude flu as a possible factor. Secondly, it lowers your risk of getting flu, which automatically lowers your immunity. With a low immunity, you're more likely to pick up other infections, in this case, COVID-19. Little information is available on the severity of COVID-19 and other viral co-infections. But a recent report suggests that influenza and COVID-19 co-infections may result in a more severe disease in high-risk patients and complicate diagnosis. Now that schools are back and lockdown restrictions are eased, we're at risk of a double whammy. COVID-19 plus flu combo this winter, which makes now the perfect time to focus on improving your health and getting your immune systems in fine fighting form. 